The Saucony Kinvara 13 is built for speed seekers. It's pure, simple speed. That's what Saucony says. Does it live up to that? Well, let's find out. But first, I do need to let you know that Saucony did send the Convara 13s to me to review uh, for the sole purpose of that. They're not going to see this video ahead of time, proof it, tell me what to say. I will share my complete, honest thoughts, just like always. So the Saucony Convara 13, uh, like I said, Saucony does say it is built for speed. That's it. It's, you know, it's flawless, built for speed is what they say. Uh, and it is a faster shoe. It is a lightweight shoe. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, what I would say is a pure form running shoe. Uh, meaning there isn't anything built into this shoe to help your form, to uh, give you any of that stability. Uh, it's just going to let you run with your natural gait cycle, which I find really nice. I like that a lot. So yes, this is a neutral shoe. I mean, it twists incredibly easily. Uh, there is no built-in support in this shoe. So, uh, you know, I think I know Seth James Moore always says you need to have strong ankles, but uh, I think I've proven that I have some weaker ankles because I roll them quite a bit while trail running. Uh, and this shoe was just fine for me. So a couple of stats. Uh, it is a four millimeter drop shoe. In the front, we've got 24 and a half and in the rear, 28 and a half millimeters for that four millimeter drop. Uh, and like I said, it's neutral, it's lightweight. When I put it on the scale, this is a men's size 11. Uh, and the men's size 11 weighed in uh, 222 grams. So very lightweight or 7.8 ounces. Just, that's a super lightweight daily trainer shoe uh, in my size, men's size 11. So that's, I mean, that is a huge plus for the shoe. I love that about it. When you put it on, it feels lightweight and it does feel fast. There's not many daily trainers out there that get you in the sevens or even the low eights that uh, you can go do, you know, a half marathon in and feel pretty comfortable. I mean, this shoe is not built to go marathons or longer. Uh, it's for those shorter distances, I would say. I know there's plenty of people out there that have run in them uh, up to the marathons and maybe even further. But for me personally, I would want a little bit more protection underfoot. But those shorter distances, this has been really fun to run in. Hey, real quick, hit that thumbs up button. Give the video a like. It really does help out a lot. Uh, helps the channel, helps the video, and I would just really appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about the upper. So the upper on the Convara 13 is a completely redesigned single layer mesh. And boy, is it breathable. Let me tell you, this shoe is very, very breathable. When I was out on some runs on some cooler days, uh, you know, with single layer thin socks, my toes were a little cool at the start for sure. So it does allow a lot of airflow. I think this is gonna be fantastic in the hot environments uh, when this, you know, summertime, it's gonna feel really nice. So to show that, take a look at the tissue test here. You can see when I put the hairdryer on low, uh, the tissue still came up quite a bit, but then when I put it on high, it just went straight up and the airflow is very easily seen. I mean, this is a very breathable upper. And so if you were living in a hot area or your feet sweat, and you need a little, little bit of airflow to help you out there, this is definitely going to be a shoe for you. Another benefit of this redesigned upper is uh, honestly the fit. It just fits really well. I mean, this thing straight out of the box, put it on the feet, went out for uh, I think like a five, six mile run and it felt amazing. Uh, it's just, it fits really well. It's not thick, it's not plush, it's not gonna give you that super thick cushioned feel. Um, you can see the heel collar here is, uh, I mean, there's not a lot to it. There's a little bit of foam in it there, but it's, it's pretty, I mean, you can bend it down, smush it around. There's not a lot to it, which I like in a lightweight daily training shoe. The heel cup itself, the uh, heel counter, uh, is, you know, it, it definitely has some give to it. There is a little bit of support there. The upper is just very pliable. I mean, you can smash it down. Look at that. So if you need to travel <laughs> and put this in a suitcase, this might be a perfect shoe to take with you. Along with that fit and the very important part is the lacing system and the tongue. No issues here. It's been fantastic. So the laces are flat laces. They lay flat. The tongue has just the right amount of padding in it. It's not thick. It's not cushioned, but it's not bare minimum either. Uh, it's just, it's, it's perfect. It really is a fantastic tongue. It comes up high enough. It doesn't slide down in the shoe. It is semi gusseted, so it stays put. Uh, and it just, it feels well. The lockdown with the lacing system and everything, it just feels really good. I've enjoyed the shoe quite a bit. And it does also have the runner's knot eyelet here. So if you need to get a little bit extra lockdown in the heel, you feel free to do that runner's knot with that right there. So overall, the whole upper, uh, I've been very happy. There's very minimal overlays. Uh, it's just a really good solid upper. So good job, Saucony. I love this. One other thing about the fit and the upper that we need to talk about is the toe box and the width of the shoe. So overall, uh, it does fit, I would say, not 
snug, but it's not wide either throughout the midfoot here in the medial arch area. For me, no issue. Didn't pinch on the feet at all. I have had some Sauconies, uh, namely the Saucony Peregrine 11. The trail shoe was very snug and I actually had to get a wide. This feels totally fine. No issues at all. The toe box is also very accommodating. Uh, it looks a little narrow, but it actually felt really nice even when wearing toe socks in there to have a little bit of extra uh, you know, fabric in between the toes to make it a little bit wider still. Still, no issue. It was very comfortable. So I think uh, unless you have a very wide foot, I think this will fit just fine. Okay, let's move on to the midsole of the Saucony Convara 13s. In the midsole, we do have the light and responsive power run midsole foam, uh, and it does feel very nice underfoot. It doesn't have a lot of spring to it, like maybe the uh, Power Run Plus or Power Run PB, uh, but it does feel really nice. And on those runs, middle distance, uh, you know, up to half marathon, it felt great. This is definitely a shoe you can take out for speed work if you want to. Maybe you're going to do a three mile run to the track and then go do a couple of 400, 800, mil, uh, 800 meter intervals. This is definitely a fantastic shoe for that. This is you're great. Now, is it a dedicated speed work shoe? You know, probably not. But as a very versatile shoe, this will do just about anything that you throw at it. So the midsole has been redesigned. It is a slightly more beveled midsole uh, with a, also a streamlined uh, midfoot contour is what they say. But it does give you a really nice feel as it goes through the gait cycle. Uh, it just feels really good. And I, I do feel though, honestly, that this shoe uh, is more, it feels better with a midfoot to a forefoot strike. Uh, if you're a really, really serious heel striker, like you come down hard, um, this shoe might not be great, but if it's you know an easy heel to a midfoot strike, it feels really nice. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're looking for the shoe. But overall, the midsole has been great. I do expect it to last quite a while as well before that foam starts breaking down. Uh, there's not a lot of it. Uh, it is a, a thinner cushion uh, midsole as well. I know I mentioned in my first impression video that I can actually feel the surface change on the road that I run on. So it has you know normal asphalt pavement. Uh, then it switches to like a, a, a tar and chip kind of aggregate that's been packed really hard. Uh, and you can easily feel the difference in the surface. Not to the point where it's going to like the rocks are going to poke up into your foot, but it's, it's noticeable. So this is not a shoe that I would want to do on an easy recovery day where my feet are just really tired and fatigued. Uh, I would not choose the shoe. But if it's a day where I need to go out and run, you know, a steezy pace, you know, steady, easy, uh, to maybe throw some tempo intervals in there, some fart licks. Uh, this would be a great shoe for that with this cushioning. Okay, let's move on to the outsole of the Saucony Convara 13s. As you can see in the outsole, there is very strategically placed rubber. You have it here on the uh, toe off and on the heel. A lot of people tend to wear the outside edge. You know, I'm one of those guys at times and also the toes. So it's been very good. Now this is a, what they call their durable XT900 rubber. Uh, and so far, to be honest, you know, I've got about 45 miles in these shoes. Uh, and they look great. I mean, take a look. We'll see if we can get the camera to focus. But honestly, there is hardly any wear showing on these at all. Uh, looking up here at the toe off, it looks very clean. The heel looks very clean. Let's take a look at this one as well. Yeah, I mean, the wear has just been great. The rest of it outsole is just that rubberized midsole, uh, the EVA. So I don't think this isn't a shoe that's going to be designed to go, you know, probably 600, 700 miles. But with this strategically placed XT900 rubber, uh, I do think the shoe will probably get into that 400 mile range. Uh, you know, that's probably on the high end, depending on how, how you wear and just a lot of different factors. But overall, the outsole has been great. Uh, in dry conditions, no issues. In wet conditions, there's not been any problems either. It has plenty of grip. You can see these grooves that run the length of the shoe, and that really does help with a lot of the flexibility in the shoe to give that very, very neutral feel. Uh, so overall, outsole has been great. I don't see any issues. The rubber placement is nice. I think this will last, like I said, probably about 400 miles. All right, now let's move on to price. So the price of the Saucony Convara 13 is awesome. It's $120. Uh, it's just, it's fantastic. You can actually order them on the website right now, the Saucony website. It does say you'll get them by uh, like April 10th. I know Saucony told me the target date was April 13th, but it does look like you can actually pre-order them now. I think people are starting to get these in. So yeah, check them out. $120, honestly, for a shoe that you can do you know, almost anything in. Like I said, probably not an easy day shoe or a recovery shoe. An easy day, I mean, sure, but not recovery. Let's say you just did a, a hard marathon and you want to go out and just, you know, get the feet moving, get the legs moving a little bit. This might not be the shoe for that. This isn't going to give you a, a much protection. 
uh, or cushion to those tired feet. But like I said, this can be used for many different purposes. I think $120 is a bargain. Uh, you know, definitely, I would recommend trying the shoe out if you like it. I'm a big fan of the Hoka Rincon. Uh, as far as the price points go, they're very similar. The Hoka definitely has more cushioning to them, uh, but this is a lighter weight shoe and uh, it does feel a little bit faster. Also, I gotta say, I do love this colorway. It is nice. I mean, it pops, it's bright, it's vibrant. I like shoes that pop. So there's plenty of colors, like looking at their website now. I mean, there's a lot of different colors out there that they have, so I'm sure you can find something. But that's gonna do it for the Saucony Kinvara 13. Uh, definitely, I would recommend the shoe. It is a great shoe. I'll be wearing these a lot more, racking up more miles. So I will let you know uh, as I get further into the shoe how the outsole is wearing, how the midsole is wearing, if it starts to break down at all. So stay tuned to the channel. Uh, I'll probably do maybe like 150 mile, 200 mile update on the shoe, something like that, just to kind of let you know how they are wearing. Okay, well that's gonna do it for the Saucony Kinvara 13. It's a great shoe. If you wanna take a look at the first impression video I did, just in case maybe something might have changed a little bit, take a look over on this side of your screen. You can go check out that video. And then over here, I'll put a playlist of some other shoe reviews as well to check out. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate you all, and I'll see you on the next one.